So like when I come at you with it, you know you know how I'm coming. Oh no, no, you good. I learned some things like if you get an ass on there, don't never try to do anything. Just try to don't wipe it in. Just try to do this and blow it. And it'll literally start coming off. Literally. I had to start learning like yeah, I, I just know spending stupid money on graphic tees, bro. Nigga had to learn that shit. What I said. 2015. Um, it was around like November. Yeah, it was like yeah. Um, I designed it originally around October. Um, I was like literally just playing around at first, like designing little shit, just sketching it out, just dueling around and shit. I think this would look clean on a shirt if I just like put on the little template and shit like that and see how it look. I tried it. I asked, uh, asked my girl at the time and she was like, yo, fuck with this. And I'm like, I hit up everybody I knew. Like, I was like, yo, yo, y'all fucking with this shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck just buying it just because, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm mean, friend and shit. Like, like, would y'all really rock this shit? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, cool. Y'all just my friends. Let me see. Let me see what the, you know what I'm saying? Let me see what the, like, public will say about that right. shit. So then I asked, like, a good amount of people. I was like, hey, man, y'all rock with this shit? And I got a good amount of people. I bet. I got, like, a whole bunch of shit for y'all, bro. And then, like, um, pretty much that's when I started feeling more comfortable about, like, knowing that I wanted to make a brand and shit. Well, yeah, it was it was nine days from the jump, and it was like it was crazy. Like the shit was like it wasn't even supposed to really even be a clothing brand. I was gonna try to start kind of like a like a label, kind of like kind of like not even an ENT, but like a it was gonna be something. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted it to be a, a all overall brand. I wanted something that could resonate with how can I say a lot of people that's different. A lot of people that see a lot of things differently than the rest of the world do. Especially in the times that we're in now, you know what I'm saying? Like I wanted to make clothes that could like resonate with those people, you know what I'm saying? Anybody else that can, uh, you know what I'm saying, even get inspired or even influenced through that message and shit. So, yeah. like when it was 9X and shit, it was just like, it was like, how can I like low key make a cool ass message, but how can I make it? To where it's not too long. Well, I think, alright, but we had the first Dead Faces shirts, we had Pledge shirts, we had the Role Model shirts, uh, we had Devil Fruit shirts. It was, it was like some other, like, it was like, I think about another two samples. So it was like a good, like, throughout a couple years, it was about a good seven, but we were just like, I was restocking, trying different colors, trying different sizes, like, because at first I was just doing small, medium, large. Then I do extra small, like then XL, 2XL, you know what I'm saying? I was just like really trying everything and trying to figure out how to like expand like material quality, like people I can reach to, everything, you know what I'm saying? Try to get everything. So I, I, it's like a whole bunch of shit was like a test run for me in a sense. I knew, I knew how I really wanted to go about it because I knew the vision I had. So I just wanted to take it seriously. That way others, others could see how serious I am about it. Oh man, I need Ian in my shit. I need Bloody on my shit. Fabulous. Oh, 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 bro, Fab gonna get Just right. In case people forgot about. Bro. Oh, Fab, Fab gonna be right on that shit. Look, look. What people fail to realize and don't know a lot of times, I'm heavily influenced by the skating brands. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause um, growing up, when um, when I used to go like shopping for clothes, I couldn't afford a lot of bigger brands and shit like that. You know, so I, I couldn't afford to always get polo and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, cool and shit like that back in the day, I was hot. So like, and on top of that, what I actually liked wearing. On top of that too, I liked wearing a lot of graphic t-shirts, like a lot of skateboarding t-shirts and shit like that. Like, I grew up having friends that skateboard. I grew up playing all the Tony Hawk games on my old, old Xbox and PlayStation, so it kind of made sense at some point in time, I kind of like adapted to that culture in a sense. Watching Wild Boys and Jackass all the time and shit, you know what I'm saying, that type of shit. So like, 
when when I actually start having friends and start picking up on that shit and I'm wearing the clothes, I'm loving it to where like it influenced the way how I wanted to make drawings and designs and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like or like something like the little sketches and shit like that. I had like certain shit I was interested in too. Like and it's going all the way back to elementary school. Like I was one of those kids I used to quickly try to do my quiz or test just to flip the paper over and draw some shit. And I'll be mad as fuck because I almost didn't even want to turn my shit in just because the, the drawing was at five. I, I, I like you know when they uh, when the teacher came back to grades, mm -hmm. you couldn't wait to get your grade. I couldn't wait to get back my drawing because I knew that shit was fire. I, I didn't even care about what I made. That's that's how bad it was. That's <laughs> Hold on, let me stop. Right <laughs>